Thank you, Tom. And thank you for following up on that Toyota story. I was very interested in that. I'm glad that you ran that to ground for me. Yeah. Congressman, you had a wonderful town hall, and I appreciated your enthusiasm at the end yesterday when I, you had said that you had served four years under Trump and you hated the fact that you that were glad now that you were here to serve under President Biden. And I really feel positive about that. It's like with football, we've got the ball, but now what are we going to do with it? My question, <laughs> though, today is that during the, uh, the town hall, there was a lot of tweets or people were commenting on uh, H.R. 2590. So I was doing some reading on that. And I understand that you have co-sponsored that, but I understand you as a person. And reading that, I see the border south of us is very much similar to the border in Israel. The people are indigenous and they are being treated as their immigrants, but they are actually, this is their land. And so I just wondered how you felt about 2590. I'm very supportive of taking care of the children that are subject to the Israeli military being taken out of their parents' house in the middle of the night, interrogated, scarred for life, and their homes being taken away from Palestinians because they don't get building permits from the Israelis. Could you please advise? Joe, I appreciate the question, and uh, here is what I have said. I'm opposed to the demolition of Palestinian villages. I'm opposed to the settlement expansions. I'm exposed to any of our aid being used in a way uh, that would violate human rights, which certainly would include uh, having uh, incarceration or interrogation of children uh, without lawyers, the example you cite. But I believe that all of that can be addressed through the Leahy Law and through the Arms Export Control Act and ought to be addressed in the context of all of our aid. And what we ought to require right now, the problem is a lot of the aid that we give to countries, you don't have to report to the State Department how that aid is being used. And I think what we ought to focus on is strengthening the Leahy Law to require that reporting, strengthening the State Department to require that, and it would get to a lot of those issues while being applied uh, generally to every country that's a recipient of our aid.